Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to Wembley for Petrol Hedonism Underground. We're about to go into the show, so watch the final part of the show, the car starting up and departing this incredible show. If you haven't already seen my part one video of the entire show, go do that now, but this will be a bit of cars leaving and then us leaving ourselves. But it's the end of the show and I've got a little bit of a dilemma. Chloe has got to drive my chaser back home. She's never driven the car before and we're driving it through the busy time of all of these cars and I have got to drive this car home. Uh, a dramatic turn of events but wish me luck. Oh, gentlemen have started their engines. Crazy to leave. Everyone's filming and loving. The echoes of every single car starting up. Ready to leave. Petrol and this underground. In a way, it's only now at the end of the show that it feels a bit more undergroundy and Tokyo drifty as all the cars are leaving. The marshals are telling people to keep the noise down and I just tripped over that. There's something about cars waiting to leave a show in a venue like this. soon so we can't stay for too long spectate it's just so cool seeing all these cars out on the road an rwb porsche 993 is departing featured in the latest Fast and Furious film, which leads us neatly onto this video sponsor, Fan Home. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know how much I love 1 to 43 scale models, and Fan Home have just released their new range of 1 to 43 scale Fast and Furious cars, starting off with Dom's Dodge Charger. I was recently invited by Fan Home to Italy to celebrate the launch of all of these models. We went drifting in 350Zs. Let me know in the comments if you want to see the full video. I've got some amazing content of me being a driving god and Chloe having a go. But this is my first package. You've got all sorts of leaflets and information that comes with each month's subscription. You get information about the cars from the film. So let's take a closer look at this fully detailed model with the little aerial there and the supercharger and filter sticking out of its bonnet. And when you subscribe you'll receive them every month. You get special gifts as part of your subscription too including a mug, t-shirt, posters, even a bonus model so make sure you hit that link down below so that this and all other Fast and Furious cars can be yours. I can't wait to collect all of them myself. Got the Golf, got the E30 Cabriolet with four people on board, loving the sunshine that isn't out. That Evo is one of my favourites of the show as well. I heard some revs from a VR6 Golf. Airtech Focus ST. Side pipes as well. Beautiful Benzo. Ah, yellow. GTR's just popped a big flame echoing inside the building. The crowd going. Oh. GTR E30. No noises from the Tesla. That's a shame. People in the apartments are noticing all of this going on. They're going out on their balconies and spectating. Triumph stag. People are watching from this. There you go. A whole family of people watch from their balcony. S14 with the OJ. We have the Tommy Mackinnon Evo as well. Noisy, noisy boy. A Honda NSX. Gorgeous. 
Japanese supercar. A lot of JDM here today and Petrohedonism underground. We've even got a very early Nissan Skyline. This won one of the awards at the show today. You can see why. That sounded insane. Boosted Golf. The traffic's now going to start building, so we've got cars going from multiple directions. We shall stay at the exit to watch cars like the E30 M3. More pops and more bangs from, I think it was probably the Civic. There's a caricature of the E30 on its dashboard. Another R33, 993 behind, and one of my favourites is this liveries Mercedes 190E. Proper touring car behind the noisy 993. something special <laughs> you can tell by the sound of that cami v8 supercharged it's almost big as the block itself wheelie bar on the rear now it's time for a lambo party starting with asv we've got the hurricane behind us c63 black series following the two black lambos there is the wide arch spoiled beast of a black series. As the traffic is building, let's have a look further down the road and see what's going on as the cars merge together. Crowd are loving it. Got another R34 on the road. I believe it's another GTR as well. So you've got half the cars going from this direction, half from that direction as the Hurricane has got the advanced passing as well. wheels I have seen. Multicolored rims on the TT as a Dakar Yellow 6 Series passes by. A few more German whips coming from the other car park. I need to go back myself and grab my car loaded up. to what is left of one of the car parks. We've got a few more inside. I'm underneath here. So let's go down the stairs and scare Chloe into the chaser. I don't know who's more scared about Chloe driving the chaser, me or Chloe. So here I am, the Cobra and the chaser and hard up garage. I could help out, I could help, but you look like you're pros and oh, I've got a gift. Hard at work, but hardly working. <laughs> Right, I need to try and start this car. So we're going to trailer the Cobra, then Chloe's going to drive the Chaser, and I'm going to drive the Daytona Coupe, and it's isolated. So let's start it up. Oh, it's locked as well. The Cobra does work, it just doesn't drive as well as I'd hoped. So we trailered it here with Tech Autos, and now we're going to trailer it back. But I need to drive it onto the trailer before I leave and get into the Daytona. Ow! The boot's on my back. Okay, right, let's do it. This should sound good. The word misfire resonates with me at the moment, and I, I can feel it, I can hear it. Yes, so to Alex in the KM manual. That is a MR2. We've got Shmi 150's collection in front, or some of it. They're doing multiple trips to come back and forth to load each car. And there's a speed bump here to slow me down. And there's a few straddlers left. Let's load up the Cobra and then go home. There goes the Cobra, safe and sound, tucked away. Right, let's be having it. It's a simple car to drive, key in and start it. Are you ready? I'm uh, okay. Okay, it might be in gear. Uh, let's, let's make sure that I don't lurch forward there. Okay, uh, no How's the clutch feel? It's very stiff. Okay. I'm just a bit nervous. so hard. It, it will climb down again. shouldn't be that nervous. It's an easy car to drive. It's a big barge. It's not too powerful and you can be sensible with it. Whereas the Shelby Daytona Coupe might be a bit different with a lot more horsepower than this. So here we are 
back at the Factory 5 Daytona Coupe. My chariot literally awaits me for the journey home with a Koenigsegg behind. Maybe one day I'll be driving at something like that, but this is today's weapon of choice. Is it locked? No, nope, there we go. Bit of a cocoon in here. It's a bit tighter than my Cobra, but here you go. Aluminium dashboard in the Factory 5. Daytona. I'm only the second person to ever drive this car. These are a different type of race harness to what's in my Cobra. Yeah. That is a heavy clutch. <laughs> this is the craziest car I've ever driven. It's the uh, heaviest clutch I've used on the road. But I love it. I know I'm going to stall it. Oh, it's quite easy to drive. Ow! There's a roll cage right there. This is a crazy experience to conclude a crazy weekend. I hope you can hear me, because it's very loud in here. This is Wembley, this is petrol heading some underground. I'm driving past an R34 GTR in a Shelby Daytona Coupe from Factory 5 Racing. Thanks to Tech Autos for sorting this out for me. Do I do a cheeky one? Here we go. Driving this car out on the road. What a crazy experience. I'll pull over and wait for Chloe in the chaser, and then I think I'll go with her. I want to take this quiet moment to show you, you've got the sniper system, there are the indicators, left and right. Uh, I don't know what test means, I won't be testing that. Fuel gauge, volts, oil, RPM, and my phone is ringing, it's Chloe. Hello. Bye bye. She was worried we've left without her. So we've got a collection of BMW M4s departing as well. There goes the British Motor Show's Mustang. I'm going to start this up one more time to wait for the others to arrive. On the button. Wish mine were like that. <laughs> there goes my Cobra. Chaser should be behind. There's the Chaser. <laughs> Almost rear-ended by focus.